two security giants. One big question, which one really delivers in 2025? On the left, Norton, powerful, feature-packed security for home and business. And on the right, Kaspersky, lightning-fast, AI-driven malware defense. Let's skip the buzzwords and get to the real stuff. Each category earns points, and at the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The result might surprise you. Here's how we're going to do this. Think of a mind mind map popping up on screen with all our categories. Protection quality, system performance, features and tools, pricing and value, user experience, and, yep, privacy and trust. We'll go through them one by one and see who really comes out on top. So first up, let's talk about protection quality, which, I mean, is kind of the whole point, right? Both Norton and Kaspersky just crush it in the independent lab tests. Like, we're talking perfect scores from AV test and AV comparatives. Norton's got awesome phishing detection and a really solid firewall, but it can be just a smidge slower when catching brand new threats. Now, Kaspersky, it's famous for blitz-fast reactions to zero-day attacks and has some of the best real-time blocking you can get. But, heads up, some advanced features do sit behind a paywall. Honestly, they're neck and neck here. I'm calling it a tie. All right, switching gears to system performance. So, how much do these slow you down? Norton is pretty efficient in most cases and even throws in some system optimization tools, which is cool. But during those massive full scans, Norton can feel kind of heavy, especially compared to Kaspersky. Kaspersky is like the ninja of antivirus in terms of being light. Barely any drag, even when it's running a scan. Super impressive. There are a few power features that may eat extra resources, but honestly, Kaspersky takes the win here for being basically invisible. Okay, now for features and tools. Norton's kind of wild here. You get unlimited VPN on most plans, dark web monitoring, a password manager, secure cloud backup, you name it. But sure, some very advanced stuff is still locked under pricier plans. Now, Kaspersky gives you strong parental controls, especially if you grab premium, a built-in ad blocker on iOS, and those classics like anti-phishing and spam filters. But, and it's a big but, the VPN is limited unless you go premium and dark web monitoring just isn't included. Some tools are only on their top tiers, so if you love extra security goodies, Norton definitely pulls ahead. Oh, and here's something cool you might not know. Both of these programs, they score a full 100% detection from all the top independent labs. So whatever you pick, you're getting top tier malware defense. Nice, right? On to pricing and value. Norton's actually more affordable than you'd expect, especially when you check how many features are included at every level. There is a catch though. Renewals go up, so just know that. Kaspersky, meanwhile, offers really low starting prices and those juicy first year discounts. But as you add features, the price climbs. Want the password manager or VPN? Gotta pay more. Honestly, if you want more for less overall, Norton's the better deal. Let's talk about user experience. Norton is just familiar, clean, super easy to use, and support is there for you 24-7. Nice if you ever get stuck. Only weird thing is, you might have to juggle a few extra apps for all the bonus features. Kaspersky also looks clean and modern, and works perfectly no matter your device. Mac, Windows, Android, iOS. Super smooth. Once in a blue moon, some folks mention app crashes, but it's rare. Overall, Norton still edges out with its all-around reliability. And now, Privacy and trust. This one's interesting. Norton's got a spotless record. No real privacy run-ins, aligns with all those strict US and EU standards. It's straightforward. Kaspersky, on the other hand, is actually super transparent with its policies and has global data centers, but there have been a few market controversies and government advisories because of its Russian origins. It's something some people really care about. So yeah, Norton's got the clear trust edge. Just imagine a radar chart right now. Norton's areas balloon out across features pricing, privacy. Kaspersky flares up big time on performance and protection. It's not just one is better than the other. It's about what matters more to you. All right, so after all of that, here's what I honestly think. If you want a security suite overflowing with features and strong privacy rules, go with Norton. But if you care most about world-class detection and something that's so light you forget it's running, Kaspersky is honestly hard to beat. If you like these head-to-head -head breakdowns, don't forget to save this video. Stay ahead, stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next one.